Hey everyone. So since I get asked all the time how I make my battle reports, I thought I'd go ahead and just make a video showing how I do it so that you know, one, pictures worth a thousand words, and two, I don't have to keep on typing out instructions. I can just point people to this video. So I use Keynote for mine. I, I'm not an expert in how to make it in other ways. I've tried it using iMovie once or twice. It seemed like a lot more work um, with, with a few exceptions. So literally, I, I open up Keynote. Um, I import pictures uh, into a folder. I have a folder. I have a folder for W for uh, WFB Warhammer Fantasy Battles. Then a folder for every game, and I import pictures from my uh, my camera into my computer. All the pictures for a given game are in a, are in a given folder. So that way, when I go into to uh, Keynote, and uh, it opens up, I literally just drag the pictures from the folder in, into the slideshow, and. Um, it's as easy as that. I think some people, if you haven't, if you haven't played with Keto, that you know, I think people don't understand what I'm talking about. But it's it's real simple. You just just slide them over uh, to to the left column or the left margin where the the picture each picture forms its own um, slide, and boom, it's populated just like that. So I get rid of the top blank one, <clears throat> and then I have that. I go ahead and save it. Um, you know, I, I save mine just like I, I name mine, which starts off with the numbers so that uh, I keep track because saying Bertoni versus Ogres doesn't mean much when I play a lot of those games. Um, so I save it uh, I save it very frequently because I don't want to, uh, you know, have work done, uh, have work lost. And then, you know, people ask me a lot of times, how many pictures do you take during the game and... Um, you know, how do you remember what you do during the game? Well, I take a picture, I take several pictures during deployment. I take, uh, well, what you see right now, by the way, I'm putting a transition between each slide. Uh, but I take uh, several deployment, and then I take whenever anything significant happens. And so whenever there's a movement phase, uh, I take at least one, if not a few pictures. Uh, magic and shooting, if anything dies, I, I take pictures. Um, so I would, I take between 60 and 80 pictures a game, probably. Um, and so I put them all in and then I go through them and uh, I review the pictures and I decide, I, I remind myself, wow, what was happening during the game and, um, you know, what can I say about it? And, and sometimes you'll see me, you'll, when, I, when I'm here, if there are pictures that, that uh, are blurry or that, I, you know, if I, if I take a picture, I know that there's like his, my opponent's hand was in it and he moved it and it made the picture blurry. Uh, I just delete it. So then what I do is I go through picture by picture and I put a this little text box in the lower right hand corner and I, I do a copy paste um, ogres turn one Bretonian turn one whatever and I use that as a way of reviewing the game so that that force that keeps me set, focused on whose turn it is which tells me what likely was happening and that's it I don't take notes during a game um, it would take too much time I mean taking 60 pictures during a game takes enough time as it is. So literally, what you see me doing here was when I was preparing this battle report, I went picture by picture, I'm putting in the turn number it is, and um, trying to remember what happened. Like right there, you see I kind of lingered on that picture with the Mornfang, and I'm like, wait, what was going on there? And so now I went back to it, and, um, I, well, I'm going to do it in just a second, but I go back to it, and I insert a, um, a visual, my famous blue star. Um, I tell you what that what's that there for is it's not to make the battle report better it's to remind me when I'm doing my voiceover narrative that something got blown up right there so um, that's really the bulk of it I, I upload my pictures I drag them all into Keynote I review the game slide by slide to uh, re to uh, remind myself what happened and then to mark it with the turn number so that when I'm doing my narrator my voiceover narrative I have a rough feel for where we are in the game. And a lot of times you'll hear me say, so it's Bretonian turn three, and boom, boom, this is what's happening. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so when I get done with all this, you'll see, I'll show you shortly, uh, real quick. The other thing I do is I put in text box for characters uh, so that people can know what the list is like. Uh, I see other people doing reports where they put in their whole list, and I think that's a great way to do it. It's just not how I do it. Um, yeah, so that's really uh, all the preparatory steps, and then I'm going to 
I'll show you here in just a second how I do my voiceover narrative. Uh, but to keep it, you know, it's really important to remember, and I'm going to I'm going to re reiterate this that the way I do it is fast. It's not necessarily the 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 highest quality. There are ways you can do to make it better, uh, but I do enough battle reports that I have to balance that with how much time it takes me. So. Yeah, so this is just a picture of kind of after I didn't waste your time showing you how I typed them all out. But basically, yeah, I just I literally go picture by picture and I um, type in what characters are. I figure the units are easy enough to figure out what the characters are. OK, so now I'm going to record myself recording a battle point, which um, feels kind of awkward. So anyway, I have the um, the uh, all the the pictures into Keynote. I have the. Uh, the little extras like the uh, the turn counters as well as the the uh, character descriptions, and I'm going to record now. The way I do it is I I use Keynote and I so I just record here. So I'm going to do one recording for the whole battle report. If I screw up, I've got to start all over again. Um, if if I did it in a in a software editing program, I could actually record picture by picture, which really slows down the process if you don't make any mistakes but if you make mistakes it, it, it you don't have to re-record everything you can just uh, go over certain segments uh, that's why if I make a, if I make a mistake in the first few minutes of battle report I'll stop and start over again and if I don't then um, I just let it stay <laughs> it's not worth my time so anyway here in keynote um, we've seen this one before to give me the page flip uh, effect and we go here and we just hit record Testing, testing one, two, three. I always do that because otherwise it seems to get screwed up. And we'll try again. Hey everyone, this is One Spitting here with the Battle Report. So this is uh, game two of My Bretonians versus an Ogre. So if you have thoughts on that, yeah, please let me know. Other than that, that's the game. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, so uh, that's the recording. So the important thing here is to save it. And then you have a couple options if, if you're going to use Keynote. One, you can actually share it directly to YouTube. Um, I find that when you do that, the quality is really bad. If you remember in the past, when a lot of my my resolution just wasn't very good, uh, that's that's why. So it's, it's it's an extra step. But if you just export it as a QuickTime and go full quality, uh, that just it's just a lot better. So I try to keep my stuff organized. I'm going to put I have a folder for every game. So I'm going to put it there. The name stays the same, so that'll work. And I export it. Now that's going to take a while. I'm, I'm going to. Okay, this happens sometimes. I don't know why it happens. Basically, when you go to share it, it says there's not enough room. So you try it again. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. And if if it doesn't work, I'll, I'll try it three times. And then if it doesn't, what you have to do is just reboot your computer, and then it it's always worked for me. So. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with that, but that's how you do it. So I'm going to have to exit out, reboot the whole computer, and then you can export as a QuickTime video. And then from, from there, you, you can upload it directly to YouTube. Um, or you can import it into a software program, an editing program. So like I've been lately, I've been putting on uh, an intro, an outro, uh, or an intro anyway. And you can do that on your own computer on the software pro program, or you can upload this to YouTube as a private video and then use YouTube's editor to make a new video using your intro and then that. All right, so that's it. That's how I make my videos. Um, if you notice the sound quality went down about halfway through, uh, that's when I switched to, to uh, I was actually recording my uh, what was happening on my screen. And because of a little glitch, it recorded from my internal uh, voice recorder as opposed to my headset. So. Uh, other things that I haven't said that I probably should say, uh, when I take pictures, I just use my phone. I said my camera, but I, I used to use a, a camera. Uh, I use a phone now. It, it, it works a lot better. Uh, it's a lot more convenient, and it's easy enough to, to import them into your computer. Uh, I use this, this headset. When I record, I find the audio um, just turns out a lot better using this. And uh, when I say you can upload it directly to YouTube, it means you log into your YouTube account, and there's a button that says Upload, and that's you upload it right up there. And under that same button, it has um, an editing. I think I think it says edit or something like that. And that's where if you've uploaded a private video 
and you've uploaded your intro, you can drag them down and, and YouTube basically functions like a software editing program. So other than that, that's it. I mean, if you have questions about how I do it, I'm happy to respond via a comment. That way in the future, when people ask me, I can just point to this video. They can watch the video. They can, they can read the questions and answers. And anybody who wants uh, to do their own battery reports, and I encourage them to do so, uh, will hopefully at least know one way to do it. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it.